shipples. Fuck. Shit. Crap. Fade. Shit. Ass. Demons. Crap. Shit balls. Fuck. Shit. Crap. Dragon Age series. Shit. Arse. Netflix. Crap. Yes, guys and girls, it's happening. Supposedly, there is going to be a Dragon Age TV series produced and developed by Netflix, which is going to be quite interesting to see. Even though, guys and girls, I do have some, you know, hesitation or some apprehension towards a Netflix TV adaptation of the Dragon Age series produced, developed, and published by Bioware and the creator team behind Bioware and the games they produce. These games, guys and gals, are among my all-time favorites alongside Metal Gear or Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil, aka Biohazard, Silent Hill, Fatal Frame, Siren, and of course Bioware's very own Mass Effect series. That game series is what introduced yours truly to the Dragon Age series in the very same way that Uncharted is what introduced some people, not all of them, but some people to The Last of Us, but yes guys and gals, this series will be transitioning to television format and it will be quite interesting to see on the small screen, the silver screen itself, it will be guys and gals, and my god, this series guys and gals does have potential, but if done incorrectly or done poorly, it could result in a catastrophic response or a backlash from the fans, the hardcore fans of the Dragon Age series included, like yours truly, and of course, my friend, sis, tag team partner, fellow Grey Wardens, fellow Saints of the Third Street Saints from Saints Row, and so many more things she is to me. My friend, sis, and family for life, Candice Bump, otherwise known as Demon Foxhound, aka Nefties, both of her channels on YouTube, alongside her other social media accounts, I'm going to add in the link down below. Please do check her out, guys and gals. She is the one who brought the news to me about a Dragon Age series being being produced, developed, and made by Netflix, which once again does have potential, and it could be interesting to watch if done right, and they don't fuck up in whatever ways. This series, guys and gals, I do have a few ideas on it, but basically, I do have high hopes for the Dragon Age series coming to fruition and being made, but my ideas, guys and gals, are as followed. One idea I have in mind is for the Dragon Age game as well, Dragon Age 4, and that is part of the game, one third or one half of the game being set in, to Vinter itself, to Vinter being a place which is very old, one of the oldest kingdoms in the Dragon Age series and lore. This city, guys and gals, this region is far older than Orlay, and it would be so interesting to finally visit to Vinter as a spy, a spy of the Inquisition, to infiltrate to Vinter and find out whatever they can, and these spies get captured, and one of them has his or her hood taken off and we finally see this person's face, the spy's face, and we get to know his or her name. This spy, guys and gals, is going to be interrogated and possibly tortured until he or she is rescued by whatever members of the Inquisition, most likely Liliana herself or someone who works closely by her, if not Cassandra, Cassandra Pentagast. But yes, guys and gals, this is one idea, one of many ideas in which you could open and set up the premise for Dragon Age, the TV series and Dragon Age 4. The other idea I have in mind is the Grey Warden, the Grey Warden himself or herself, the hero of Ferelden who reunites with either Liliana or, in the case with Candace Bump, who really loves her boy, King Alistair. Either one of these two, he or she would reunite with and we would follow the hero of Ferelden himself or herself, exactly how you played him in Dragon Age Origins. This guy and gals is a smart move because so many will bitch about how this is not my Grey Warden or whatever garbage like that and this guys and gals is their solution. You can do exactly what you did with him or her and everyone will be happy smiling and shit. So yes guys and gals this right here is for Dragon Age 4 but in regards to the TV series we can see the hero of Ferelden come into the series and he or she can interact with Liliana or King Alistair and 
and the other characters of the game in TV format exactly how they did with The Witcher TV series, which I am a fan of, even though not a crazy fan, especially because of the stupid casting of certain characters like Triss Marigold. But yes, guys and gals, I do hope and pray to God the casting is done right and these characters are not made white to black and vice versa. It's so stupid, guys and gals, and just why? But yes, guys and gals, and my third idea is for the hero of Ferelden, his story being told from a different lens, a totally different lens in a TV format. This, guys and gals, would be so interesting and while challenging, it would also be rewarding. It will, especially for fans of the series, the Dragon Age series, I do believe it can be done right and you can introduce and explore such characters like King Kaelin, Duncan, the parents of the hero of Ferelden, of House Kuzland, Arl Renden Howe, fuck him guys and gals, but you can introduce him even though I hate his guts, so gain Maktir, who I do know, Candice, or Demon Foxhound, slash Nefties, hates so damn much, Connor, and that means also introducing Connor's parents, Arl Iman, and Lady Isolde, you can introduce all of them, and so many more, it would be so awesome guys and gals, it would be so fucking awesome, but those are my ideas, and my thoughts on a Dragon Age TV series being made, thank you all for watching, and thank you sis, I love you, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish, and do check out Candice Bump's channel, all of which I'm going to add down below in the description box, alongside my second channel, and Netflix, make her be with you, and please do justice to the Dragon Age series, but yes guys and gals, peace out.